Page indexing, Google Search Console. Why pages aren't indexed? And the new page indexing reports tells us all these different reasons. So in this particular video session, I'm going to introduce to you to page indexing reports in Search Console, as well as share best practices for understanding the issues and fixing them in upcoming video sessions, which can be found on Rankia YouTube channel and Rankia blog. So the new Search Console page indexing is all about how Google sees a URL and places the content that it finds in its index. So first thing to do and always the best practice for any website is to look at sitemaps. It is under index, menu link, sitemaps. Because most website owners make a mistake by using SEO plugins or XML sitemap plugins that generate one main sitemap. For example, Yoast SEO plugin has XML sitemap functionality. And if I was to submit the parent sitemap for a typical WordPress site, then Google will have a lot of page indexing problems. What I'm saying to you is first thing to do for fixing any page indexing issue is ensure the sitemaps contain the URLs that you want Google to show to its searchers. For a typical WordPress site, it's pages, posts, and products if you're operating a WooCommerce site. Never you submit parent sitemap. If the content management system that you're using generates many placeholder URLs. Placeholder URLs are uh, URLs that do not have unique, original, useful content. For WordPress, tag URLs or date archives. <laughs> it's okay for Google not indexing these URLs for my setup. So, without confusing you and hopefully simplify all these issues and show you the best practices, remember, first, when you analyze page indexing reports, before you do that, look at your sitemaps. And if you've submitted a parent sitemap, you can delete it and submit only the sitemap for the URLs you want to see in Google. Okay? So let's move forward. Here, the page indexing, we have different options here. Best practice always is all submitted pages. Select that. Because if you're having issues here, what this is saying to you is, you know what? You've submitted an XML sitemap that has many URLs that we're aware of. In this scenario, let me show you. Typical XML sitemap basically looks like this. It has the URL structure of a website. Thus, it's the map of a website. Now, now what Search Console here is saying, you have submitted a sitemap and the URLs within it, we're having page indexing issues. And it gives us reasons as to why, which is great, really, because reasons can be many things, as we have seen. Reasons can be no index, redirection, soft 404, or not found 404, alternative canon, all this stuff, right? But 
if the problems are with the submitted pages then that's the first area you want to focus on instead of trying to fix everything else first because here there is a problem here I'm not going to go in depth as to explain what this is I will do that in upcoming video sessions here it's saying discovered that means it has seen it it has seen the URL as an example it has looked at the code that makes up that URL in this example it's a web page but it's saying we have not placed the content in our index now search engine optimization world is changing rank your blog gives you tips for upcoming years as well meaning unlike previous years just because a website creates content or publishes blog posts doesn't mean Google's going to index it unless the website follows the best practices and guidelines set by Google so why pages aren't indexed there could be many different reasons and we will explore what they are in upcoming video sessions once again the most important thing to look at in page indexing report is first look at the sitemap make sure that is set up correctly and if you have not generated an XML sitemap then make sure you generate one telling Google specifically of the URLs that you want Google to index then look at all submitted pages and then focus your attention there as I've said I'm gonna detail as to what these are and if you should fix it and how to fix it in upcoming video tutorials if you benefited from this video session and if you would like Rankia to create similar video sessions please do give it a like to this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.